What's going on everybody and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. I am very excited about it is prison architect and before anything happens here Let's go create a new prison. Um, yes, we're starting a prison architect series on the channel We're gonna need to name our prison um, uh, So you guys are gonna help me out in the comments of course because you guys help me out naming everything on my channel Which is great because I can't think of names so let's get into this. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do a male prison uh, We gotta choose our warden, but before we do that, let's keep the fog of war on forests. Maybe Not I don't really know. I don't want lakes. I don't want buildings failure conditions. Of course uh, Let's let's make some gangs. Let's have some events and let's turn weather on. This is going to be kind of a challenging series. Uh, I wanted to maybe do like a, a maximum security challenge, but I feel like making a very large multi-divisioned uh, prison is going to be a lot more challenging. So I think that's what we're going to do, but let's choose our warden. We can go with the warden. He's the most balanced individual on the planet, and people just call him the warden. So he doesn't really do anything for us. He's just kind of there to research stuff. Uh, the lobbyist has friends in high places and makes sure that the more easily controlled prisoners end up here. So he has the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. What fun is that? That's not fun, so not him. Uh, Rita is ruthless and terrifying. She has a reputation for running her facility through a uh, judicial application of fear. So basically, she has the likelihood of prisoners being sto stoical or fearless, uh, whatever. Um, and uh, the prisons are suppressed twice as quickly. That's pretty powerful, actually. Um, and then we have J.W. Periwinkle. Mm, Warden Periwinkle says he, he <laughs> says he was a sapper in the war. Okay. Uh, his guard dogs have a 50% chance of uncovering tunnels fully. That is really powerful. I like that one. Maybe we'll go with Sir Periwinkle. The pacifier, who reduces the overall temperature in our prison, making inmates less likely to cause trouble. That's really powerful because that covers the entire prison straight up. So maybe him? And then Shafera Akinova? Um, she gets a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. And the prisoners uh, found with contraband are fined directly from their savings. So basically, the more stuff we find in the prison, the more money we get. Okay, so... You know what? I think... We'll go with... I'm leaning toward Periwinkle, but Rita's also very good. Um, you know what? Let's go with Periwinkle. The dogs will be just very powerful, so... It should be pretty fun. So, let's go ahead and start our prison. This is our plot of land. Very bare, very, uh, you know, ready to have a prison built. So, uh, yeah, this game is very, very in-depth. Uh, a very, very good game. This is well put together, well made. We have to read our CEO's letter and uh, blah, 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 something, something, eh, whatever. We'll, <laughs> we'll do it live. Who cares? Um, prisoner intake. Okay, so first things first, let's close prisoner intake right now. So... Basically, we have minimum security people, there are two available, me medium security, six available, and then maximum security. And then we get a little grant per person that comes in. So, we basically receive a maximum security person, and we get $1,000 to house them. And then through grants and all that kind of stuff, we then uh, operate our prison. It's pretty straightforward. But, um, yeah, I'll kind of go over my plan for this prison. Uh, I want to do kind of like a big yard in the middle that we can then quarantine off uh, into little sections. And then maybe in the center we'll have some sort of like house for food and basically all the common stuff. And then we'll segregate the prison by security level. So we'll do like minimum security up here, medium down here, max here, and then maybe super max up here. And then will then, using the regime, will then s make it so that all of the prisoners aren't outside at the same time. Uh, that's the goal, but it's going to be a long time coming. So let's go ahead and just start our prison off quickly. Well, not quickly. Let's plan. This game has planning, which is very, very important. So basically, we say, 
this is where we want our main entrance to come. And then we'll note that we're going to put some stone down there for that. The door will go here. And then off of that, we'll then have a little reception area in here. And we'll do that very nicely. So we need, in the reception area, we have to have a... It's got to be indoors. It has an office desk, a table, and a chair. So that's the minimum requirements for that room to become a room. And for the reception to actually function. So I like to go through and then kind of plan it all out before I build it. And then after I plan the room out, we'll then have the people, or these little workmen, they will go through and actually start to build it. So let's go ahead and start to plan it. I believe the desk is two units. So we'll plan for the two unit desk. And then I like to have the table, which I believe is four units if I go in here and find it. Uh, the table is, yeah, it's four units. So I like to have that right next to it. And then I like to, I'm thinking about this kind of on the fly. I did like a pre-series that I kind of uh, went through just to get the hang of this game back because it is a pretty in-depth game. Um, so I did want to not go completely blind into this. So, uh, yeah, I just tried to get a hang of it again. And uh, I think I did, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so I guess we'll, we'll find out. We'll do it live, of course. Um, three, four. So, yeah, we'll go down to there. Go down to there. And, yes, this will be kind of our thing. Wait, one, two, three, four. Wait, yeah, there. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'll put two tables there, and then we'll have some chairs up throughout there. And, uh, yeah, basically, this is this. So, yeah, this will be the beginning of our prison. And why does that look off-center to that? Uh, you know what? We'll do something like that. So, up here, we'll then go through and have, like, a hallway. Um, like this. And then we'll have a utility closet or a utility room over throughout here. And I think... What did I used to do for those? Hmm. Man, yeah, I up until now, um, I haven't played this game in a long, long time. This game is great. I, I've said that already. But, yeah, I haven't played this game in two years. I think the last save file that I had was two years ago. So this is going to be kind of me learning on the fly again. So if anybody out there has played this game, I'm going to need some help at times. And you guys are going to want to point me or point things out to me that I'm, I'm missing or I don't know what I'm doing or whatever um, I'm not gonna hate you for it I'm actually gonna welcome it because I am gonna screw up and we're gonna have some gang wars in the prison and I hope that's not the case but you know what it might be eventually so uh, yeah okay we'll put the doors in now I want that there 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 and then this will be a staff door and then oh um yeah we'll keep that there this will be the utility room and for the utility room, we need these power stations, which are three by three, but then those can have capacitors around them. So basically, you need five units of space up and down to and across to get that one in. And then your water pump can then go pretty much next to it. So that'll be fine. Actually, you know what? We'll make this building one more, one more unit bigger than this is. So... Um, actually, you know what, before we go into all this kind of stuff, we should get in here and grab some of these grants. So, you get grants and they give you money up front, and then once you complete it, you get some additional money. So, let's go through and let's do the administration center first. And I think, can we only get one grant at a time? Except no more than two grants at a time, so we can have two. So, yeah, I guess we'll get also the basic detention center. So now we have $46,000 in the bank ready to go. Um, and, yeah, we'll have to go through. And, of course, I forgot to turn auto lights off. I always do that. I think everybody who plays this game always does that. So we'll go through and kind of plan this out a little bit more. And then, of course, we'll grab the utility, which is the power connector. Boom, we have one of those. We also have one capacitor in stock. The little number down here means you have that in stock. So you're given basically a couple assets at the beginning of the game that you kind of need. And they're actually kind of expensive, I think. Those things were like $5,000 a pop. So yeah, I mean, 
it's kind of nice that they give you that, but, uh, you know, they didn't have to, but they did, so good. Um, alright, we'll go through and finish this little building up, right like this. And, uh, yeah, this first episode is gonna be a lot of planning and some building, and then I think we'll aim to have prisoners in the prison by episode two, three at the latest, I'm hoping, so... All right, let's go through and make this room the reception, which we need. Boom. So, yeah, that's the reception. It shows us that we need an office desk, a table, and a chair. So, I really... It annoys me that this list isn't necessarily in alphabetical order, and it doesn't really seem to have any rhyme or reason to the order that it's in, but I did notice that if you're up next to a room, it highlights what needs to be in that room. So it basically shows us that we need all this stuff in here to complete the room, which is nice, but I, I don't know why it was chosen to not put all of that in alphabetical order. Kind of annoying, little little bit of a pet peeve, but eh, what are you gonna do about it? Um, okay, so basically we'll have a staff door down here somewhere, if I can find the door right there. So the staff door, Basically, any of the staff of your prison can unlock it. These jail doors, only the guards can unlock. So, that's pretty cool. And then, a regular door is just a door anybody in the prison can unlock or open, um, including prisoners. So, you gotta be kind of wary of these kind of things. This game is very in-depth. There's tunnels. There's actually an escape mode in this game, which is kind of cool. And then you can go through and escape from people's prisons that are, or people have built prisons and put them on the Steam Workshop, and you can get out of their prison to kind of put theirs to the test. So, yeah, at the end of this series, we'll be able to, I'll be able to upload that to the Steam Workshop, and you guys can try to break out of this prison that we built, which shouldn't be that hard if you're kind of capable of it, because um, you'll know how it's all built. So, all right. Uh, the offices, we need a 4x4 four four space, so if we plan this out here, um, so, okay, 4x4 four four would be like this by this, so actually that's pretty good, so we'll actually go, five, uh, what, 6x6 six six to get a 4x4 four four in the middle of it, that's pretty good, that'll be an office there, we'll have a hallway of, I guess, three units, and then another 6x6 six six there. And then, I guess for now, we'll just kind of draw this over like this. And then, I guess this could be like a staff room. And we'll just put one more office down there. So, for now, this will be like the administration wing. So, let's go ahead and get a building set up for that. Actually, you know what? We don't exactly need the staff room at the moment. And actually, we don't need that part of the room at the moment either. So, we'll go ahead and just build this up. And that should satisfy the two offices. Boom, boom. And then we'll be able to hire a warden. He'll be able to unlock finance. And then we'll be able to unlock the accountant. So, yeah, I'm actually very happy that I went through and kind of played this game a little bit. I I was uh, watching Sips play this. And I think uh, a couple of the other YouTubers that I watch have been playing Prison Architect lately. So, I don't know what it is about this game. Nothing really new came out for it, I don't think. But everyone's just getting back into it, so I figured, why not? It looks like a really fun game. Well, I know it was a really fun game. I just want to get back in because I was playing the early access version of the game. And a lot of things have gone up or gone into it since then. So uh, let's do paving stones out here. Uh, so yeah, these paving stones will be like a walkway up to the prison. And the reason I left so much space here is because I want to get, like, perimeter walls set up throughout here. Probably could have left a little less space than this. But I'm sure we'll build this out and all that kind of stuff later. And then, yeah, the yard will be throughout here. And I'm hoping to have, like, a common area. Um, the first wing that we build in the prison might have to be a little bit different. And we'll maybe have to do some renovation later when we expand out to that kind of large area so all right the plan i guess is to build a wing of the prison or at least a little bit of a cell block and then we'll have some utilities set up over here 
and then we'll grab a bunch of we'll grab as many of these uh, minimum security people as we can. So basically, we'll be building this for a medium security, but we'll have medi or minimum security in, so it's a little easier on us. What is this? Notebook page. Huh. Look at that. So yeah, there's a little bit of like Easter eggs here and there in this game. So, uh, what is this? Prison jails doors are open much of the day. The event. <laughs> <laughs> is this like somebody's plan to escape? This might be. Morning showers, meals, deliveries, afternoon work, recreation, meals, night, locked in cell, lights out. Uh, advanced. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is like a log from like the developers or if this is like some sort of like prisoner's escape kind of ideas, but <laughs> we'll let them monitor that. Um, and actually, all of these walls disappeared since I built a foundation, so we're going to have to go through and put these walls back in and then we'll have to put a couple doors down here so I don't like to put the, the staff doors in here because there's already a staff door here which is locked from prisoners uh, so basically no prisoners should be in here and if they are we have issues and the regular doors are fifty dollars cheaper than the staff doors so use staff doors sparingly and actually I probably shouldn't have used one right there either so whoopsie uh, also, we should probably hook up all of these utilities now and kind of get this out of the way. I actually screwed that up. And actually, you know what? I can unscrew that up. So there we go. And then we'll go through throughout here. And that's that. And then the water pump will have to kind of go through this wall and send this out this way. And that'll be that. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? I think I could wind this episode down here. We're kind of getting a couple things done here. I don't want to go too far into this game. I want you guys to be able to kind of get acquaint acquainted with this game. We're going to have to build the holding cell next episode. We're going to have to build these offices next episode. And then we'll have to go through and start to build the cell block next episode. So, guys, until then, leave me a thumbs up if you are looking forward to this series. Thumbs down if it's not up your alley. That's fine. Um, but... It is going to definitely be a few episodes at least until I can gauge whether or not you guys really want to see it. So, uh, yeah, hit up that like button if you do want to see it. And uh, I'll see you next time here in the prison, which you guys have to name. So, until then, guys, I'll see you. Stay tuned for that.